At least 12 million face eviction as moratorium ends. If you don't know what the moratorium is, it was basically stopping people from being kicked out for not paying rent. Stopping renters, homeowners, just people in general. So the whole country is not out on the streets. That would be a bad thing. So they created this moratorium. That way people can continue living in their places of residence. It's not supposed to be a, a, a get out of jail free car where you don't have to pay rent. Like you still owe the money. But it was just during these hard times where people won't be kicked out. Well, it's been going on for a very long time now. And the owners of these properties are getting kind of angry because how are they supposed to hang on and pay their bills if the people occupying them aren't paying, aren't paying their rent? So this says at least 12 million face eviction as moratorium ends. It's supposed to end yesterday, which was July 31st, 2021. Millions of households are behind with no confidence in making payments. Get into the article, and when they talk about total renters, they mean individuals living in households that pay rent, not households. So, with millions of renters at risk, Biden asked Congress to extend federal eviction moratorium, which they've already done many times, which is good for the people who need a place to live, but it's bad for the people who, who own those properties. So it says state and local governments have struggled to distribute $47 billion in federal money aimed at helping tenants who can't pay rent because of the pandemic-triggered downturn, leaving many people at risk of being forced out of their homes when the moratorium expires. So they had $3 billion of, of the aid was supposed to be delivered to landlords and tenants as of June 30th. But many landlords have been squeezed. They've been able to unable to collect rent, but still have to pay taxes and maintenance and other bills. It was first started with President Donald Trump last August, and it was supposed to shield tenants who have missed monthly rent payments from being forced out of their homes into the streets. It was originally going to expire December 31st, 2020, but they extended it until late January. And since then, they've extended it three times. So in June, the Supreme Court rejected an emergency request to clear the way for evictions. Um, Brett Kavanaugh voted with the 5-4 majority to keep the moratorium in place. But he issued a one-paragraph concurrence saying he believed the moratorium was unlawful, but was willing to leave it in place for July. And he's quoted as saying, In my view, clear and specific congressional authorization via news legislation would be necessary for the CDC to extend the moratorium past July 31st. So this is all for what's going on in the world right now. Can't blame the voters, can't blame the renters have to blame the people who closed everything down who made everybody lose their job so that's what's going on I think nationwide nationwide it ended July 31st I'm not sure if it was extended I don't think it was but I think in California and certain other states it's going to keep going until September and then he says these numbers are way understated and how does he know that every chart is missing 72 million individuals in which the census department does not have 10-year data so all the people that they don't that they don't have data on aren't being counted so 7.4 million in rental properties are not current. 5.9 occupied housing are not current. 8.7 million live in owner-occupied homes where the homeowners have little or no confidence and ability to pay their mortgage. 12.7 live in rental properties where the heads of household have little or no confidence and ability to pay their rent. There's so many 
millions of households unknown. So even these numbers are understated. It's a lot more crazy than this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 12 million face eviction. A lot of people are wondering why the rent is so high. Why housing prices are so high. Well, when you don't have to pay rent, then you're never going to leave. If you never leave, there's more people than there are places to live. There's more people than places to live. And there's a higher demand for places. With a higher demand comes higher prices. So we'll see how all this turns out. My wish was is that they just let everything go back to the way it was. Let people work. Forget about the masks. Forget about the shots. And let people live their life. Take the risk if they want to take the risk. And this wouldn't be an issue. But who am I? Just a little nobody, I guess.